everyone welcome back to gomes tech talks channel we are in business central functional consultant 101 mastering the essentials basics so we are in the module 3 and uh, we'll be covering these two topics in this video like introduction to personalizing the business central user interface and customizing the role center to match the individual user needs so if you have missed the previous videos please go and watch it in the playlist you can find the playlist link in the comment box in the description okay so let me just open the <coughs> business central so you can personalize your workspace to suit your work and preferences by changing the pages okay so that they display information what you need this personalization changes that you make will only affect what you see not what others see okay only this will be affecting your view depending on type of page and what it includes you can perform various tasks such as moving or hiding the fields columns and actions moving and hiding entire parts and more so the basic thing which we have already discussed is what changing the themes so how can you change the themes here you have the settings okay so it's very simple go to the settings <coughs> you have if you click view all you can see the settings here so if you just click any of the themes okay you can find that the team themes are changing okay so this effect will be only for you okay not for everyone <clears throat> okay this is the basic personalization and if you want to personalize the role center page so this is the role center page which is the starting point for users in business central so this is specific to the role okay which i have already discussed with you all in the previous video if you missed this, missed those videos please go and watch it i have clearly explained what is role center what is the role center page how you can change the um, role of the person everything okay so this page is therefore tailored towards the role of a person in the organization so how will you find the role just go to go here and go to the my setting page so here you can see this is the role of you okay which is assigned to you which is a business manager evaluation so if you wanted to change this you can simply select this and see what are the other roles which you have <clears throat> okay so let us just i'll show you how to bookmark the page okay I hope you all know what is bookmarking so bookmarking will give you that easy access okay easy access for example <coughs> you can see I'm just selecting the customers card okay customers page so here you can see there is a bookmark symbol available on the right this features feature will allow you to personalize the navigation menu from your role center page <clears throat> you can find the bookmark menu on the right side of any page <clears throat> okay so you can find this on the right side please adjust with me because my throat is very worst <clears throat> i'm just trying to talk okay so this is what so any page any page if you take you know you can see that bookmark if i take this uh, general ledger journal so if it is so <clears throat> so you can see the bookmark in the pages which is available here okay so if you go to the bank account <clears throat> you can see a bookmark which is already bookmarked got it okay so for example you can try so you can just go and search for something else resources okay this is not bookmarked basically can you see that <coughs> So see, if you click resources, okay, if I select, if I just hover over this, you can see a bookmark symbol here. Can you see this? Okay. And you cannot see this resources anywhere here. So I'm just going to make this as bookmark. Either way you can do it. Either here you can bookmark it or else after clicking here, you can see a bookmark on the right side. Okay. So either way is possible so once you bookmarked that you can see that the bookmarked page list page is available on your top of the uh, role center page okay so if you don't want this you can uh, better you can just go back uh, you can search for that uh, resources okay so you can search for the resources and simply and simply you can 
you can uh, unbookmark this okay where this will be away from your role center page you cannot see this in the role center page <coughs> okay so uh, here uh, you can see that these are the uh, bookmarked item which you can which you can see this here so you can also personalize the role center page fine so how you can personalize the role center page again you have to go to the settings here <clears throat> you have to click here settings and go to personalize where it will show you see this is the screen which you will be getting okay this is the extra bar which you will be getting so once you are done you can click here done okay the personalization is ready to do so if you wanted to add any field okay you can click add field okay so here since we are in the role center page so we cannot add any fields okay we can just try to make something um, something even more uh, better that is you can personalize in a different way okay you can simply close this got it so this personalize so this here you can easily personalize your role center page so just watch what i am trying what i am doing it here in the role center page okay so just if you go to the finance you can see a, um, a red color triangle here okay so if you click the red color triangle it will show you two options which is move and hide okay if i click hide okay this will not be visible okay this will not be visible if you see just i have clicked the hide in the finance near the finance if i click done you cannot see the finance option here okay if you want to enable it again then again you have to go to the personalization and click it show okay and this is possible with everything okay here you can see and here you can see even this you can personalize like whatever you want if you want to do just close it if you don't want to see this you can simply close this okay you can simply uh, if if you close this this particular message will not be visible to you and likewise you can just select here uh, click here to see like what are the other changes you can make it for example if you click here you will get one more option that is open if you want to open this you have to click control plus click okay and if you want to move you can move it if you don't want something to show up here you can also hide it okay so these are all the simple personalization for example i'm just hiding it here you can just hide it so you can just go and see what all the other uh, uh, personalized options you have so you can just click on these and also you can try to select whether you have to view the sales this month or not okay so this is the role center uh, role center personalization okay if you don't want this you can just simply uh, see if i select this it is showing move show clear personalization so if you want to move or hide so the basic thing which you can do with this is what you can move you can show you can hide it if you don't want this you can simply go to the okay it's already there okay if you want to show this here you have you can click show and also you can move okay for example you can just move this here okay if you wanted to move this to some other place you can also move that to another page so you can move this to a different location okay this <coughs> so for that you can simply select move but this means that you are trying to personalize move okay it's ready to move okay so you can just drag and drop it anywhere so you have to wait for that uh, uh, that indication that is a red color uh, <coughs> bar indication to move it somewhere else okay you can move it and once if it everything is done you can simply select done or if you wanted to do some more changes you can do it or else if you want to clear whatever the you have thing you have personalized it you know if you want to clear that you can just clear the personalization all okay clear the personalization and then you can click s done okay because nothing will happen here so just click done so you cannot see any changes which we have made so far okay so this is personalizing your role center page in an effective way fine so this is very simple personalization you can even configure the queues okay so here you can see that you have a queue here 
okay if you just click on this day uh, this uh, activities you can see refresh data set up queues if you want to set up a queue you can just click here to set up a queue so before understanding the queues and all first let us understand what is queues okay so this is a queue <coughs> okay so queue and list on your role center can be configured so this is like a metric okay it will display as a metric for you got it it will display a kpi that is it shows the key performance indicator and it shows as a um, uh, aggregated value to you okay so it's very easy to configure any queues so you can see here click here and click refresh uh, sorry a queue setup so you can see what are all the things which you can make it okay this once if you click it is opening as a matrix right so here you can see that you have a matrix <coughs> if you click here if you click on any <coughs> anything you can see that you have an option select mode <coughs> okay so you can see here edit list where it will open the this list you can edit it okay let us try to open something else so you can configure the style of the values under a threshold so what is the threshold here here you can see it's a unfavorable okay this is one threshold okay uh, that is uh, the styles these are the styles okay that is a low range style which is an unfavorable favorable none okay and we you have two more things okay you can see here unfavorable favorable and none you have two more thing one is an ambiguous and subordinate you can also determine the values for the thresholds as well okay if you wanted to configure a list on your role center page then what you have to do is what so here you can see the queues okay in that queues you have a arrow that is a drill down so if you want to drill down that just click drill down that is just click that link it will take you to that specific list page or the cart page take you to the specific list page where you can just find out like based on what sales quote is 2 right if you add one more sales quote okay i'm just adding one more here in order to manage it okay you can add one more so i am just giving the customer name you can select the customer name here uh, i am clicking the customer name here and also i am just making the delivery date today and external document okay just you can just add something here okay megan bond and it's saved okay almost i think it's saved so you can see here the 1003 is added and if you go back you can see that the sales code is changed to 3 okay if you want to configure the uh, queues you can also configure that got it so this is how you can add so even for every uh, every specific inside you have the option here the drop down you can just go click and explode okay yes so we have covered whatever we uh, planned to, for the today's thing that is introduction to personalizing the business central user interface and customizing the role center to match the individual user need so in the next video we'll be understanding the personalizing list and cart page for improved user experience adding fields and modifying document pages and enhancing the user interface with personalized settings i'm waiting to watch you next in the next video if you have any queries please leave your queries in the comment box i'll be happy to help you thank you take care bye bye